Someone's cursing, my lord. Late night lunch. Someone's puffling, my lord. Late night lunch. Someone's growing, my lord. Late night lunch. Oh lord, late night lunch. This is a post-watershed production. Good evening and welcome once again to the show that puts his body on the line for you. My name is Aaron Bliss, and with a waning libido and clubfoot is Michael Large. Evening all. Brilliant introduction as ever. <coughs> Thank you, Aaron. Thank you, Mike. Why don't you explain to everyone what uh, tonight's Late Night Large theme is? Tonight, for all you uh, lucky listeners, our uh, topic of conversation is uh, mod cons, or modern conveniences. Uh, and as always, we'll start trying to contextualise the definition of uh, mod cons. Mike, what would you consider a modern convenience? I mean, for instance, are we going to include leisure items, things that people would consider gadgets? I don't know, portable computer consoles, things like that. Uh, I guess it depends on the context, like, but maybe not, maybe not leisure items. We, we, oh, we can. We'll see how it goes. Then yeah, okay. No, no. I can. Do you know? Do you know what? I think later on we'll find reason to actually include these for reasons I'll go into. Yeah. Because of course, Mike, having read the Wikipedia definition, uh, mod cons are generally uh, n- generalised as labour-saving devices, which is the key phrase that you know we'll, we'll try and use to to justify their inclusion in the mod cons all-time list. The funny thing about Moncons as well, obviously, is how differently they've been viewed over the the centuries, obviously, uh, post-Industrial Revolution. Uh, From the late 19th century, for instance, uh, the examples of Modcons, people that people consider as Modcons, uh, sewage drainage in your own home, rather than just on the street, uh, kitchen sinks with hot and cold running water and again wastewater drainage a furnace uh, closets in bedrooms bathrooms um, linen closets and broom closets etc uh, gas lighting stoves and fireplaces uh, and an ice box or refrigerator which obviously you know s- sometimes we take for granted has been around since the dawn of time but obviously you know how <laughs> Obviously. It's funny to think how people stored food before refrigeration. Well, obviously we're a long way past that, but I mean there are a lot more modern things, devices that uh, that we also think how could we live without? For example, okay, mobile phones. Like I can't ima- most people can't probably couldn't imagine. Okay, I, obviously you remember having before having a mobile phone. Your life was simple. It's fine. It didn't. But in today's world, I mean, uh, let, what, lots of people wouldn't function properly. Probably, probably. <laughs> That's a new word. I've just made that up. <laughs> properly, without. Uh, it clearly without hasn't improved phone. your verbal dexterity. <laughs> no. Well, hang on. Let's let's quickly go on to. Uh, well, I say quickly. Let's start with communication, because I think that's probably the biggest leap in modern conveniences you know you would shrink that probably down to the last 15 years I wouldn't even say 20 years the last 15 years in modern communications let's picture 15 years ago I mean where are we Uh, 87 no sorry 97 it's 15 years ago jeez okay uh, let's picture 97 okay okay yeah a lot of people did have mobile phones of some kind should we say them Maybe the majority probably didn't. Yeah, you know? and they were crap. It, well, yeah, it goes without saying that they were pretty basic. I mean, obviously, smartphones hadn't even been, weren't even an inkling at the time. So we had pretty crap mobile phones. The majority, I would suggest, the small majority probably didn't have or didn't own mobile phones. You know, they were still employed generally as a business tool. So you look at ninety seven communication wise, right? 
you know, if you met someone in a nightclub, for instance, and you wanted to get in touch with them, you still have to ring the house phone, speak to mum and dad, ask if, uh, you know, I don't know, Katie or Jane were home, and, you know, it was it was all very awkward, and you had to, you had to basically organise your personal life around the rest of her family, or his family, you know, whatever it was. That was just one thing. And then we look, you know, leap forward even more. Where would we be without Facebook? Or, or instant messaging. Let's say instant messaging. Yeah. Oh, you know, but... Do you know what? Something just occurred to me. It made your private life a lot more private at first. And now that's gone... The pendulum swung back. And now it's become really public again. Do you get what I mean? Because yeah. you... Again, I'm I'm narrowing this down to just you know say meeting someone that you'd like to to date or whatever, right? In the beginning, you had to ring the house phone, or you know, anyway, find her address, knock on the door. The parents were there. Hi, is such and such home? All very awkward and public. Then mobile phones. All of a sudden, you could text their individual number or ring their individual number, speak to them personally. Nobody else has to know very private instant messaging came along you could talk to them online in real time again very private then social networking came along and you broadcast your relationship all over the web photos statuses wall posts so it's come it's weird how it's just you know the modern convenience is it was like struck a blow for privacy and using your of... pendulum analogy I don't think it's going to swing back though I no, think it's just going to keep getting more and more public everyone's lives yeah every detail <laughs> of everyone's life at some Andy point Warhol in the, was it, right in the near um, future will be publicised the X factor factor well, uh, anything to add to the yeah. uh, communications well, something that that sprung to me while you were uh, bubbling on <laughs> was uh, where you draw the line at what's a mod con and what's just a tech technological advancement for example mobile phone yep mod con smartphone I mean is that I, I guess again I guess the, the different things are like being access, being able to access your email that's yeah, a that's mod con a, well apps people have instantly say oh apps they're labour saving because each one of those means that for instance you don't have to track well, down a dictionary some of them yeah or find a restaurant, it, you know, the the apps are what makes it labour saving, isn't it? That's what they argue anyway. Yeah, I was just uh, just wondering where you would draw the line between a <laughs> between a mod con and just a technological uh, advancement, like webcam. Is that is it just a technological advancement? Because I mean, you could still speak to. Do you see what I mean? Uh... So, well, it's a good it's a good point. Um, probably webcam by itself, not really. I mean, there's no there's no labour that it's saving because at the end of the day, if you wanted to see someone in the flesh, you'd see them in the flesh. It's not it's not really a replacement for that, is it? Although maybe it is, I guess. If you can't be together, you know, someone's out on business, or you know, you live far away from each other. Because, I, I mean, sorry, I, again, we're probably, I don't know about you, but me, I was picturing webcam as, you know, two lovers who can't be with each other at the time, but obviously the other thing is... Well, you get things like Skype. Yeah, that's what yeah, that's what occurred to me. Chatting between Talking, friends. yeah, or, you know, your family, talking to family on the other side of the globe. Yeah. So, yeah, in that case, it would be a labour-saving device, wouldn't it? Maybe not webcam specifically, but, so. but some of the applications that come with webcam... Then what would fall into just the technological advancement? I mean, you probably argue leisure, but again, the, you could you can make an argument it's a, it that is a modern leisure, convenience because otherwise, leisure you know you'd have to go outside. And for, <laughs> for example, a cycling machine. It's well, a I was going to say you can you, you know, can you justify can do it without, you know, say it's raining. <clears throat> you could justify what the slightly different, but if we go back to consoles, Kinect and uh, Wii, you know people who don't want to pay for gym memberships and bizarrely have some problem with, you know, jogging or, or playing sport in the actual open air, you know, you can get fit in your own living room. So that's clearly labour-saving. Yeah, clearly labour-saving, so modern convenience. 
you might have a harder time arguing things like you know Xbox if if you wanted to be really facetious and say that Gears of War or uh, Call of Duty was saving you from actually having to join the military <laughs> no I don't think <laughs> you could say that I think it's safe to say that's not uh, not a mod con <laughs> no okay well yeah so in other words we're going to use that definition we'll hammer that definition at every, everything we discuss then that's the crucial defining point that turns it from what, an advancement is it an Xbox game no, no oh, it's a mod no. con the thing that def- the thing that the dividing line between a mod con and it's important to establish this yeah the dividing line between a mod con and a gadget is is it labour saving could you consider it labour saving I wouldn't say way? between a mod con and a gadget because gadgets are often labour saving aren't they ok what, what terminology would you give to to something that isn't a, a mod con, con. Uh, a mod <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. Not a mod con. Okay, we'll need to make up some kind of word. Let's, uh, if we go back to the uh, the twentieth century, the things that you know were not around at the end of the nineteenth century, but suddenly burst into everyone's consciousness in the twentieth. Uh, it was basically white goods, most of them, home appliances, washing machines, clothes, dryers, dishwashers. Refrigerators, uh, frost-free refrigerators, water heaters, air conditioning, vacuum cleaners, irons, uh, electricity and electronics, stereo equipment, colour color televisions, uh, as well as black and white, obviously, uh, answering machine, VCRs, and, you know, something that probably will challenge for the best modern convenience of all time, microwave oven. Yep, probably gonna have to go ahead and say that's my well no 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 hold on we'll hold back because we'll obviously save that for nearer the end of the no, show when we're was... summing things up uh, yeah. but you'd, it's str- up there, actually. you'd struggle it? you'd struggle to, to be struggle. that moment if we looked at <laughs> I know you'd struggle <laughs> Mike's diet can consists of I'd say probably 95% microwave fare so this is a modern convenience that He'd it's be, not a modern convenience. He'd it's be a modern necessity. Yeah, I mean, he'd be happy and healthy, twenty something, if it wasn't for microwave being invented. To be fair, so, so I'm not happy or healthy. We'll go with uh, happy. Thank you very much. <laughs> ah, so the following section has been removed due to copyright infringement. Sorry about that. Fight the power. But we were updating the twentieth century. We we're having a tiff. Oh, well, that was right. We we sorted out with a slap with a dueling glove and a quick buggering around the back. Yeah. <laughs> did I leave you nice. speechless? Nice. You did. I, it's not it's not an easy thing to do, but you managed it for a second there. Hey. I hope you're proud of yourself. Oh, I am. As well as that, like, that's, truly that's sickened that's by my your own, own mind. Mod con. <laughs> okay. Nice. My, nice modcon. Yeah, Mike. Would you consider sex toys modcons? <laughs> <laughs> yes. Yes. Now, yes, now they he- are. yeah, now hear me out. L- l- labor saving. Now <laughs> without going into explicit detail because <laughs> that's a little bit too labor and vulgar for this show. What am I talking about? Of course, no, it's not. I mean, let's face it, sex toys. They have taken a stratospheric leap. Let well, to be honest, 21st century really. Because twentieth century, there was some bog standard. You know, you'd get double-ended dildos. And anyway, I, I'm not going to go into this in too much detail because, first of all, it incriminates me, and <laughs> number two is again, I don't want to go plow that furrow too deep. <laughs> um, That's what she said. <laughs> glad I loaded the gun for you to fire. <laughs> That's what she said. Oh my god. <laughs> So yeah, no sex toys. I, I definitely consider <laughs> oh, that they. Uh, shit. <coughs> <coughs> oh, let's, let's grow up. Um, Too mature. I've got. I just thought of another idea. Go on. You know, because Hit me. We, we've been, <laughs> we've been, uh, we've been going into uh, mod cons in terms of things that make your life generally more pleasant, more <laughs> livable, enhance your life, or your sex life, or whatever kind of private life things and public life. No, we haven't got public life, but here's an example of public life, public life being public service. What do we consider with, you know, obviously 
not firearms technically, police weaponry. Do you consider, for instance, tasers and beanbag guns? Are they mod cons? I would no? say they're mod cons. No? Would you consider any weapons to be mod cons? Because you could argue that it saves the labour of having to beat someone, uh, to catch someone and beat them down to the ground uh, if you fire a beanbag gun at them. Well, and that, when you put it like that, I guess they are. Really? Like, for instance, you could argue that handcuffs yeah. saves you from having to physically restrain someone because once you've bound their hands together, they're yeah. less of a problem. Yeah. But we're coming up with a lot more things than yeah. I thought we would. But. In fact, maybe we shouldn't go down that road, though, because once you start going to... Are we being too broad? Yeah, definitely. Because I was just thinking that it's a small step going from the police restraining suspects to the Holocaust, really. So oh, there's but... no... Obviously, no, it's not a small step, but that's the road that you'd end up going down. OK, what you've done here is highlight that we're contextualising things wrong. We need to have two defining points. One being labour-saving, and two being for the general benefit of mankind as a whole yeah i think that's definitely benefit a good point being an make. improvement in people's lives yes there we go although <laughs> no <laughs> right we're going to go to a song to avoid mike uh <laughs> well he's already tied his own noose but <laughs> to avoid him jumping off the chair the following section has been removed due to copyright infringement sorry about that Fight the power. Okay, uh, moving on. Let's talk about the effects of certain mod cons, positive and negative, because obviously that's what we read on Wikipedia. Uh, <laughs> so, anyway, a bit early, but let's uh, let's throw the uh, the floor open to what what's the best mod con that you can imagine, <laughs> and then we'll discuss reasons for it. Um, well, as I already mentioned, uh, microwave, pretty uh, okay, yeah, pretty uh, high up the list for me. Okay, uh, let's see if we can come up with five or six. Okay, so microwave, uh, yeah, I agree with that. Uh, I feel lost without my mobile. Your mobile phone, laptop, yeah, Should say laptop uh, would be in there. Okay, so that's three. We'd have to say uh, indoor plumbing. Well, we'll include it under the umbrella term of sewage treatment. Headphones. Hang on, how many were at like five already? Headphones, how do you mean? They're a modern convenience, they allow you to listen to music personally to yourself. Portable music? Yeah. Because, yeah, you, you can walk around listening personal. to personal. But I wouldn't say headphones, I, I just put that under the umbrella term personal music because iPods, MP3 players. Uh, Walkmans, you know, Walkmans were the first. Yeah, they all need headphones. Oh my! So you're saying that that that's the connection, is it? The headphones, everything else is redundant. Yep, yeah, rubbish. Of course, I'm not saying everything else is redundant. I'm just. Saying I, I'll agree, but headphones are very important because obviously DJs use them. You know, sound technicians, all kinds of people have to use headphones. Let's move away from headphones. Okay, but yeah, portable uh, portable media devices with headphones. <laughs> oh shit! Go on, carry on. Um, what else can we think of? Modern conveniences. Uh, when, I mean, when it, let's not really include televisions. I don't think we should include televisions. No, okay. Uh, modern conveniences. Things that have made a massive impact on our lives. Kettle, toaster, e e electric. Yeah, things like ele yeah, electric kettle. A, a toaster. People people might argue that a toaster is almost redundant because you you can pretty quickly grill bread under an oven grill. Yeah, but you have to, the t a toaster's. But you know, hang you just on, put it no, on the right was... setting. You put it in, you push it down, it pops up when it's done. No, but yeah, but no, I'd still say the grill can do that. But what, what pops up when it's done? The what, toaster what, is a mod con. No, no, I wouldn't. I wouldn't. No, You're what right. I was going to say. No, listen, what I was going to say about the toaster is you can toast other things in it. Waffles, for instance, pop tarts. So it's a mod con. Um. Yes. Everything. It is a mod con. I'm just saying it's not going to be among the top mod cons. I don't think, in my opinion, oh, electric kettle. That's a good one. Uh, well, you could just as easily. No, uh, no, 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 no. Because how long does it take to grill bread under tr under traditional grill? Again, 
this is a mod con itself you know the oven and the, with the grill is a mod con um, but here in your grill <laughs> I feel safe as the wall where I, where I do what? Safe, where safe I feel as, safe as the wall? Yeah, yeah, yeah. the grill do something in your grill <laughs> the grill takes what? I don't know five, six minutes maybe to toast the bread okay boiling a kettle on a stove but you have to turn it over toast is oh quicker. bless Better. get your stinking rat out it's late night large and I was just explaining to Mike that the difference between an electric kettle and a toaster is simply how much labour has it reduced and I would argue that if you grill bread under a traditional grill it maybe takes what six minutes or so labour reduced that doesn't necessarily mean time saving think labour alright the labour involved in toasting under a grill turn the oven on blah 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 heat up put it in there check it keep checking it take it out turn it over put it back in no, check I it you're exaggerating check it I'm not toaster drop it in push the thing down it's quicker and, again, and it's no. easier kettle no, you no, could no. do that on a flicking thingy my bob no listen because the grill the grill if you grill under a traditional grill it also does the bread all over nice and even you put it in a toaster no. and you'll get all the edges that haven't been done depending obviously on how expensive the toaster is so cheap toaster I don't think does a superior job ok stop. it cuts the time maybe in half can people please <laughs> get in contact on the Facebook page uh, get on Facebook type in Late Night Large uh, find us like us and comment and please tell Aaron that he's full of shit <laughs> because he is and I want you all to make that perfectly clear to him as I will endeavour to do after we finish recording tonight's show and I'm going to make it perfectly clear that I shit on your grill let's move on <laughs> okay, we'll just see what the people say on Facebook they all will agree with me because they're not stupid like you clearly are let's move on <laughs> to something else please insults are the last resort of someone who's lost an argument so Mike what are we speaking about now we'll see who's lost the bloody argument won't we ok anyway we'll, we'll agree that those are the top mod cons of the last few years anyway we're, we're not going to go back far enough to say televisions and most white goods these are modern modern conveniences ok so let's debate the pros and cons microwave what are the arguments in favour of the microwave being the, the best the best mod con of the last 30 odd years reduce quick uh, cooking time on various microwave well or, vastly vastly or, reduced vastly reduced uh, it's quick it's easy it's simple uh, I mean, any on. a trained monkey could could use it I mean let's let's just quickly <coughs> reacquaint ourselves with exactly what a microwave does and why it's such a great modern convenience obviously rather than an oven which just surrounds the item with heat and heats it from the outside microwaves obviously are much quicker because they heat the item from the inside yeah it's quicker what are the cons <sighs> I knew you'd make me say what the cons are Can't miss the cons are various things that uh, well they're various cons yes uh, there, there are a lot of some, cons some of which <coughs> mainly are, ok shall I finish some of which Aaron whinges at me about on a regular basis there's no whinging Mike it, it, there's just judging <laughs> Even better. <laughs> um, they encourage the uh, consumption of, should we say, less than healthy food products. Things that Aaron would disagree with and never be caught dead eating and all that Not true, crap. Mike. Things that he whinges at me for eating. Oh, that that is a th that would be generally considered one of the biggest cons, I'd say. Do you agree? I agree. I would also say that another con is being able to fit small animals and children in the device. We've all seen the news reports. So, sorry, did I sink lower than no, your no, earlier? You <laughs> what I'm saying is I think we've broached <laughs> enough controversial topics for one show. <laughs> Not according to you. Well, okay. we'll, see, we'll see if I think of anything controversial. Yeah, I bet we will. In which case it will be allowed. Yes. 
<laughs> there we go. What about mobile phones? Well, there was the link with, like... Oh, radiation, radio. radiation poisoning. Yeah, and all that. In the brain. All that uh, stuff. Which still hasn't been dispelled completely. Mm. I knew a friend. Uh, I knew a friend? Yeah. <laughs> a no. late friend, someone <laughs> killed <laughs> by I, radiation, swelling of the brain. That's exactly what I was going to say. Okay. No, it's not. Uh, I have a friend that, uh, when they were younger, weren't allowed to sleep in the same room as their mobile phone. That is impressive. Their, their father made her leave it in another room. Really? But yeah, true story. Can we have some names? No. <laughs> Obviously, also, um, there's an argument that um, the areas of highest unemployment and lowest achievement are also the areas with uh, the most mobile phone masts. No, I just made that up. Yeah, it's complete bollocks. Does one find themselves offended by coarse tongue, vulgar humour or subversive polemic? Then I jolly well urge you to avoid late night large like the plague. I don't know, in my opinion maybe laptops, personal computers, possibly the most positive. Although, people again would argue the negative impact of less contact with people, cyberbullying, isolation... Uh, you know, obsession with online role player games ahead of human interaction. Okay, so uh, plumbing again with uh, takes it takes it. I think it takes it too far back. But if we if we were to make it, you know, the last two centuries or so, indoor plumbing and general sanitation has probably by far been the most positive mod con for you know, all but eliminating many, many diseases that result in uh, from poor sanitation. So, you know, it, you know, it's the same thing as well. You, you ever go anywhere, you know, say you're travelling somewhere, uh, I don't know, say you go to a festival, what's the thing that you miss most? Shower, toilet. Toilet, toilet and a shower. There we go, that's our answer. Yeah, Indi- I suppose when you're taken from- away from them, Exactly, the those are the things you miss the most. Toilet and shower. So I think indoor plumbing is our winner. For now, that will do. It will do. We um, have to wrap this up. <laughs> we we do have to wrap it up, unfortunately. Although, another quick... Uh, Aaron. No, I was just going to say another... Uh, another. What another, are you could just going to do? No, another quick touch on is uh, the, the idea that these modcons are helping the develop, developing countries, um, especially with health with you know our cheaper health care and obviously the sanitation and uh, sewage treatment over there now cheap laptops and mobile phones that help keep people in touch apparently 80% of the world's population is now located within range of cellular towers nice we need to wrap this up Aaron quite uh, this is probably too big a topic really to deal with in just much one show. bigger than we anticipated but you know we came to a conclusion all right, okay. We know we've done right. We know what we've done right. We also know what we've done wrong. <laughs> we, yeah, we're we're sorry for the uh, the little bitch fest we had for a while, but we love each other really. Again, we'll sort it out with a good old touch of sodomy. Oh, for think. Christ's sake, man! <laughs> we'll see you next week. Good night. Good night.